Studios. 100.7 WMMS, Cleveland. You've heard us talking about it for a while, always aspirational, always wishing and hoping and thinking it would return, and so it has. The Alan Cox Show Cruise, Captain Fun's Floating Fandango, is presented by WMMS and Bud Light. We would love to have you along the afternoon of Saturday, August the 26th. Not much longer to wait. Spend the afternoon out on board the Nautica Queen on Lake Erie. You have to win your way on. You can go to WMMS.com at the contest page for more ways to win. I'll tell you where my ticket stops are going to be. Caller 10 right now. I'll be at least 21. You and a pal will join us. Can't wait to get back out there with you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. The Alan Cox Show Bud Light Cruise. Caller 10, 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Pro tip, if a cop pulls you over and they hear you listening to this... <laughs> They're probably just going to let you go because, you know, they figured you suffered enough. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. I'll have that Vegas trip for you later on, too. 530. Next keyword for you to head out to our iHeartRadio Music Festival. 22nd, 23rd of next month. With uh, Fall Out Boy and Lenny Kravitz and Public Enemy and uh, Foo Fighters on that? I can't recall. Mm. I think Foo Fighters are on that, but uh, it's a really good lineup this year. Sometimes for our purposes, it's super, super pop heavy, and I don't really care. But this year, there's like a lot of good bands on it, so a little something for everybody this year. So 5.30, you got a handful of chances throughout the day, but the keyword with me uh, is uh, 5.30. On MMS. Now, as far as ticket stops, if you want to come out and try to win your way on, they're going to be uh, two consecutive nights back to back this week. Another opportunity for you to join us for Captain Fun's Floating Fandango. We're going to play Battleship or Buttleship. Uh, well, I'm always trying to figure out different ways to like give people tickets, and I go, let's play Battleship, right? So I will be set up, I will know where my ships are. You will not. And so you'll have to guess. So if they get a hit, they win? Get a hit, you win tickets. Nice. Yep. So we're going to do it Thursday night from 8 to 10 at Dina's Pizza and Pub. They're on Memphis in Cleveland. And then the very next night, Friday night, if you're in Lakewood, come see me at Game On. Also from 8 to 10. Game On. Right there at Detroit and Cordova. I think Dina's is Memphis in 57th, maybe. Uh, But uh, easily Googled, easily mapped. And uh, come on out. So for two hours, Thursday night and Friday night, simply no way to know how many hours that is total, uh, chances for you to join us on uh, this year's Alan Cox Show, uh, Bud Light Cruise. A lot of fun. Mattitude's going to spin for you, right? You know, we've had uh, Boaterhead in years past, but they get booked so quickly um, that um, I said, let's put Mattitude on there. Because a Mattitude party, uh, don't stop. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But uh, I love Mattitude, and I haven't seen him in a minute, so um, he will be uh, providing your uh, your musical entertainment on board the cruise, and that'll be a lot of fun. So all the details on the ticket stops, and uh, just uh, register to win at WMMS.com. Alan, can I possibly just slide into Poundcake's DMs and be his plus one for the cruise? That's up to him. Uh, I don't know. I know I'll be rolling solo on the cruise, but um, I don't know what Poundcake's situation is. He and Bill both newly single. So uh, this could be a situation where are, are you guys bringing people? I'm I think Poundcake's friends. Bringing his, I think Poundcake's mom is already his plus like, one. It, it depends on how many tickets I get because in years past, I've they've given us like maybe three or four. I asked Amy um, to give you half a ticket. Is that going to be a problem? Well, then uh, you're just basically cutting off my mother. Um, 
because Fancy has been begging for years. I, I don't know if he went on last year's cruise. Or we didn't the, do the, one last he, year. I'm sorry. I can confirm he didn't. In he gear? doesn't listen to the show. He doesn't listen to the cruises. I think he... we're at school. Nothing matters. Yeah, yep. in years That's past. right. I know. I said Twinsville, Ohio. I meant <laughs> Twinsburg. I'm so sorry to all you Twinsburgers. I did say Twinsville. I had a full head of steam, and uh, boy, I'm sorry. Uh, pound cake, no, we did not. Fancy was not on the cruise last year. Yeah, no, not last year, but I don't know if he's ever been on one, so he's been begging me to go on one, and I was like, well, I was, I did reserve my other plus one for my boyfriend, but now that that's not a thing, mm-hmm. Fancy, I, I think if I have an extra ticket, Fancy can come. My mom is always a shoe in um, and- How many I, tickets you want? He wants I, a bunch no, of tickets. They, in years past- he they, they, wants to take them from listeners, our customers, a limited number, who Cody. want to join us on this. This is a triumphant return to the Northeast Ohio Waterways for this show. So I, I only take what I'm allotted, nothing extra. I didn't know we were allotted anything they, other than a pair. They have given us, they have been very generous in, in years, years past. Okay, it's a very different situation than this year. Yeah, if that's in, not a thing this year, then I can't. But uh, Have it, you asked? No, I mean... Hasn't even asked. It's only two weeks away. Hasn't even asked. I, I you figure they'll just they fall into your lap, right? Well, there's a ticket allotment. Yeah, there is an allotment. You How do you know that? Because there are e- emails. Huh? Where there's emails. say that? What? I've never seen that in an email. Anyway, so uh, Fancy's been begging you, huh? Well, it, tell him to come out to Dina's or Game On. He can beg me. He can play Battleship. Okay. Try wow. to win. I would my that. in 2019, that was the last year we did it. My dad came, and he was a big, uh, big hit. A lot of people took a lot of pictures. Because of his shirt. Yes, his shirt said, "I beat anorexia," or right. "Fat people are hard to, hard to catch." Yes, yeah, something like was, that. I think it was actually "Fat people are hard to catch." I took a picture with your dad yeah. in that shirt. That's right. Um, but him, my stepmom, my mom, and a guy I was talking to at the time. So I got four plus ones. I was going to say <laughs> that year. So there, Cody might be onto something. There's like an allotment. That. There's an allotment of 30 tickets for. Us, and I never ask for anything extra. Whatever they give me, I make do, and then, then I right. blame it on the station. This is what I got. I'm not asking for any more because I don't. I don't want to be treated less than, but I don't want to be treated better than either. So I'm yes, just you more. do. Who do you think you're talking now, if to? I, was given more, I don't want to be treated better. <laughs> he wants to be treated better ask. in every possible situation. But I'm not going to ask. I just want you to treat me better, and if you don't, then I'm. But you just want like, people to just assume you just, want to be yes. treated better. Right. But, remember, to but if be you told. know I want to be treated better, remember you, you need to know. keep one of those tickets for yourself too, because we have to. Yeah, this might surprise you, but people are probably not spending a lot of their brain power trying to figure out what you would like or need, Cody. You miss out on a lot of things in life by not asking for them. But I. But again, it's a. Are you it's, just holding the flat water. Hmm? So why are you just holding the flat water? Because I'm talk? preparing. I just saw one flying around. Oh, I thought you were just using it for emphasis. No, emphasis. <laughs> I don't know. You were talking with it. Fancy text me. He said I already took off work that Saturday. Oh, my God. <laughs> <He was planning. laughs> it's um our best friend's daughter's birthday that day. And at her birthday party, and I told oh, Brian. Oh, good also, for you! I told Brian, I was like, "Well, depending on the timing, we can do both, or we can drop the kid off at the party and then go on the cruise." So I may or may not have Brian with well, me. Well, it's an afternooner. Yeah, I'm going to be solo too. Gwen's got a, a girls' weekend out on Kelly's Island, so give me your tickets. Grandma's going. I'm not come. giving you my tickets. <laughs> give me your tickets. No. Why? Because I don't need more pound cake confederates on the cruise. I want more listeners. I want people who. Are taking time to come join us and spend time with us. What about hot sluts, yeah. And hot <laughs> sluts for Bill. <laughs> Why does he get to have hot sluts? But I can't have. You're talking about bringing your mom. She your mom's like, not a hot slut. She's a lovely woman, but <laughs> she is not a hot slut. <laughs> you'd go like J Ram at Tim Anderson if somebody called her a hot slut. It, it just so happens that the, they, of course, if it gets her on the cruise, she probably didn't care what we call her. I think she would mind if you called her a hot slut. Your mom loves me. She wouldn't call if I wouldn't care if I called her a hot slut. Now, I don't use that kind of terminology about women in general. I don't care for that word. I find it crass. Oh. Foxy sluts. Nope. Oh. <laughs> hot is the word that I had a problem with. You're right. Foxy sluts. Foxy. It just so happens that the day of the cruise is also actually Shut up. I'm trying to zero in. Got it. Uh, go ahead. 
The day of the cruise is also Akron's Pride Festival. So Pride is still not over. So I In think August? After, after we're done, I think I might head down to Akron, the AK Rowdy, and, you know, spread a little pride. Yummy. Since I'm single. Spreading that pride. Uh, Spreading uh-huh. that pride everywhere. Yep. Oh, good He's for spreading you. that pride. So that's a busy day then for everybody. Yeah, because we could do the whole cruise. Because usually and- I thought, and I it's hard for me to recall because we haven't done this since 2019, but I thought that after the cruise, don't we usually end up peeling off somewhere? Yeah, I mean, we've done a little, stuff. Little we've, post-event pop. We've, and... we've gone to strip clubs after. We've gone yeah. to uh, Harbor Inn. We've yeah, gone to... I always end up at the Harbor Inn until about last call after the cruise. <laughs> so I think I'll be Ubering to the Nautica Queen. Oh, I definitely will be Ubering. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do... drive because I'm sober, so <laughs> take that. You want to pick me up? No. <laughs> I got things to do. Well, you know. <laughs> People came all over me. <laughs> So Brian is coming, or you don't know if he's coming? I don't know. I just Ah. texted him. I said, what are we going to do? And he goes, well, I don't want to miss the birthday party. So he seems conflicted. All right. Alan, will you be wearing the Captain Fun cape? You better. Only the cape. Well. The cape and his little lime lime thong. What what is it? Yeah, maybe. My limes, yeah. I'm down a couple of LBs, so maybe I will wear just the Captain Fun cape. Um, And a fly swatter wand? I don't know about that, but... uh, uh, we'll see. No, it was, um, listen, it's it's a lot of fun. It goes by way too fast. It's like a two and a half hour cruise, uh, and it goes by very, very quickly. Alan, years ago on Pound Cake, was an intern. He hooked my little brother up with cruise tickets. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't even know what he's talking about. I don't either. How would I even? Okay. I'm not saying you would. I'm just saying that you're willy-nilly, you know, but you don't know that. Giving people I don't tickets. Know that. Huh? I don't, I don't remember this at all. No, I'm not, again, I'm not saying you do, but. I mean, this guy might also. He, he could have called, yeah, called in. Yeah, he could have called in and won. It's like, up. yeah, Pocket hooked him up. I was doing hooked my job. Up. <laughs> you won. Well, no, I think he would have said, hey, my, he called and won tickets. He wouldn't say Pound Keg hooked my brother up. But what authority would I have to hook someone up if I didn't have the tickets? I don't know you. I, you you could have gone to somebody and said, hey, I got a b- buddy who needs tickets. You, you know? also might have just had extra tickets that year. and I have never had extra tickets for the corona. But you just said you didn't remember if one of your friends went. I don't know. But I'm, I know I have never had extra tickets. That's what a good time it is hanging out with Pound Cake. Hey, man, we did that thing? Nope. I do not. No, because I get Actually, <laughs> I, 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 every year I am that person tickets. now, too. Really? You don't remember what you do with friends? Ever. See, you do so much stuff with friends. Yes. I'm the opposite. I remember because I do so few things with friends that I remember them. People I'm out here making memories, Bill. I'm making memories for other people. I just can't hang on to them myself. Early onset dementia. Oh, Bill. That's all right. Are you okay? Yeah, no, it makes every day fun. It's um, you... like it's a new adventure. I don't know what you're going to remember. <laughs> right. Oh. Alan, I'll tell my baby mama to dress like a hot that. slut. <laughs> there you go. That's what he wants is somebody's baby mama. I don't. He doesn't want your Unless baby. it's Natalie Portman. Right. And even that, he didn't want her blown out yeah, sweat sock. Uh, well, I, uh, he won't call them sluts, but we'll talk about that. Uh, I, uh, the agreement there is that she's going to give custody of her kids to her ex-husband. And then me and her will start a new life together here in Cleveland. Far, far away. <laughs> Uh, another one? God. God, they're all over the place. You're getting good at it, though. Thanks. I think it's really convenient that they keep landing in the same spot. <laughs> they don't. Or roughly the same spot. No, they don't. Nope. Not mm-hmm. even the same general area. I don't know area. what you're yeah. hearing, general area. I, I'm, uh, I'm using my eyeballs. Clearly you're not. Well, you're, you're... every one of these flies is in a different place. Look, there's one right there. <laughs> it's very convenient that they're flying so close to the microphone. They're all the way over here, Bill. Yeah, this one is. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> That's because I'm getting good. Because I'm determined. That's my determined face. You never seen my determined face? I have not. 
My determined face. Anyway, uh, I guess it doesn't, like what a downer. It doesn't really matter what, who we bring on the cruise because Bill won't remember it because he has early onset <laughs> dementia. And wow, way to drop that on us in the that's middle just, of nothing. That's just my way of getting around not listening to people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty slick. Yeah. Let me write that down. Hey, if you listen to us on uh, iHeartRadio, a little digital application that we have for your convenience, you can always leave us messages there, a uh, little talkback button. Alan, this is Rich down in Jacksonville, Florida. Can you help me out? I'm trying to remember that show hosted by that guy, Alan Cox. There we go. Hate the show. <laughs> Bye. Ah. Yes. Yeah, that's the Alan. Mary mm-hmm. had that same question yesterday. The Alan Cox show is what she's trying to think. Uh, of. No, no, I think it's called Captain Fun's Radio Jamboree. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Okay, well that's there you what go. It be uh huh. Yesterday, Mary goes, "What's that Schwarzenegger movie where he plays a twin?" I did not say that. You used "twin" in I the don't question. Think that I you did. did. That's did. why it was funny. I, if you we said, "What's the movie with the two guys?" No, we no, go, no, no, no. We were talking about twins. And you said, what's the movie where Schwarzenegger plays twins? But I didn't say that. I'm pretty sure it was on the subject of twins. And I said, no. what's that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? No. And you guys were like, twin? Pull the audio. I don't Someone have it right in front of me. No. Someone check the tape. It. We all know how to construct a joke, right? It was only funny because you used the word in the question. I don't. I really don't think I did. I know I you don't, sweetie. I might But don't you did. Don't sweetie me. You did. Do not sweetie You me. did. What's that movie about that guy Schindler? The guy that had the list? What's that movie called? Uh, no, you used twins, and that's what made it funny. If you said, hey, what was the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger where Danny DeVito was his brother? I We'd thought, go I twins. I thought that's what I said. Nope. I, I don't know. Sweetie. Stop calling me sweetie. <laughs> I'm going to ah, jump over these monitors. I know. What's that TV show about the dead people walking around? <laughs> um, oh, boy. What? Uh, I cannot think of the name of that movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's oh, difficult. Alan's, or Bill's checking the tape. <laughs> yeah, check it. Go, yeah. He's got game tape up. I don't know exactly where. Uh, it was like 307 or 310 or something like that, wasn't it? Wait, why don't I? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I, yeah, I, I turned it off. Oh, I was, you did. I was, okay. I was yeah, yeah. Uh, looking for the audio. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to turn my computer up real loud. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And that should do it. Not like you have to prove that you were. I could go. You could go say, I would like to enjoy a festival today. Go with Pound Cake and say you're twins. Yeah. <laughs> What's that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? With twins? twins? Yeah. Oh, See, I didn't say oh, it. Oh, she's you right. You guys said it. I knew I didn't say it. I knew I didn't say it. But. Twins had been said in the... Sweetie, sweetie, can you admit that you're wrong, Yes, sweetie? I'm absolutely wrong. I thought I could have sworn she said twins. Yeah, I didn't say it. Wait, so you oh, don't like to be no. called sweetie? Is that a thing? That's super misogynistic and really condescending. Honey. Honey. Calm down, Wayne. Oh, sweetheart. I know what you're thinking. Baby girl. Oh, my. Little miss. Come on, darling. (laughs) Told you. Oh, you're right. I do listen to the show. Mary really listens to the the show. I'm the only one who listens to the show. She does. Yeah, uh, it's a medical condition for me, Mary. (laughs) If you you, uh, listen to the show, you know that. (laughs) Uh, What'd you say? I think it's starting to affect me. I can't remember what. All right, fine. Well, then uh, there's the end of that bit. We can't uh, do that anymore. You can. No, we can't. Not at your expense. Aw, honey. Mary the fun sucker. (laughs) Wow. Whatever. That took a turn. Uh, would you rather be called fun sucker or sweetie? <laughs> Hot <laughs> slut or fun sucker? Which one would you? Man, honestly, uh huh. Both are fine on a Saturday honestly. night. Hot slut's not that bad. Have you ever been called that? Yes, I have. Yeah, no, you that's have. why I, it's not that telling, bad for <laughs> sucking it dry. <laughs> I was telling Mary when I was in college, I had low self esteem, and I just came out, so it was a recipe <laughs> for disaster. <laughs> Low self-esteem, and that was a recipe for disaster? Low self-esteem and had just come out of the closet. Oh, so. yeah. We had a- <laughs> That's so funny. We had a very gay lunch discussion today. Mm-hmm. Mostly Cody talking yeah. while I ate my pasta salad. <laughs> 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 but it was nice. What affected your appetite adversely more, his gay conversation or the fly strips hanging from the ceiling? Oh, God. Are there I fly strips tried in there right now? I just I tried to There focus. were. I think they're gone now. Oh, because right. they got all the flies? No, oh, there. it worked out. Whoop. Well, you just had people walking through like we can't have lies. Uh, okay. It's weird how those flies all sound exactly the Shut same. Shut up, Bill. <laughs> 
Oh, flies sound different all of a sudden. They all sound I mean, the same. That you'd think they flies would. all sound the same. I think oh, you'd be able honey, to hear them. Do you them think that flies are all Darwin, different? I think flies all sound. <laughs> See, it doesn't have the effect on me. Yeah. I think it's awesome if somebody calls me honey or sweetie. Yeah, yeah. It's folksy. Yeah, sweet pea. It's nice. Bro, should I call you bro? Bro. Muchacho. <laughs> yeah, muchacho. <laughs> All right, uh, Caballero, I've got to take a break here. And uh, if you want, uh, oh, those Disturbed tickets, they're on their Take Back Your Life tour like it's a TED Talk. But they're doing Blossom, and I want to send you. And also tell you about the VIP package for that we're giving away, too. So those tickets 